Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna give you a short rant around why I think that quickly updating your resume is not going to help you get the job you want. So what happened? The last couple of weeks I realized there's one thing that really gets on my nerves and it's this. People who offer you a quick fix on your CV or your resume. And it's actually not the CV thing that gets on my nerves, but it's the quick fix part. Let me tell you why. It makes absolutely no sense and is highly counterproductive for somebody who wants to pivot, reinvent, or even advance in their careers, especially if they have a slightly complicated situation behind them to look for a quick fix to their CV. But my reflection is, if these offers of the quick fix exist out there, it means people are looking for these. And that's the reason why I want to talk to you. Please steer away from the offers of these quick fixes in order to find the job you want. Allow yourself to take more time in order to get a CV and a LinkedIn profile that corresponds to your needs and that gets you the results you want. So here is why it's not going to work. HR people and hiring managers, recruiters, they have a phenomenal attention to details, especially for resumes. Because you have to consider these people see on average between 200 and 250 CVs a day. And you want to trick them out by doing a quick fix on your CV? Sorry, it's not going to work. So I want to share with you a quick list, a quick list of common mistakes that can happen when you go through one of those quick fix methods. First of all, the length of your resume. There are people who have been working for 15, 20 years and they have a lot of experiences and achievements to share and they want to impress the hiring managers. So it's not going to work if you list everything you have ever done in your CV. The standard rule where you can be sure it's going to be accepted is a maximum of two pages. There are exceptions to that, as I said, but if you stick to two pages, you cannot make it wrong. Personal information is really important. Any personal information aside from your contact information, which means your email, your phone number, your LinkedIn URL, URL at the city and place of residence, no place on a modern CV and a modern resume. Keywords. There are people who want to add lots of abbreviations and keywords to their professional roles. The hiring manager is pretty much aware of what stays behind um, those keywords. Therefore, they know that there are certain skills which need to be there. So I really strongly suggest you just stick to keywords for achievements and certifications where you, can, you have proof um, of owning them. Um, last point, visual distractions. Apart from if you happen to be a graphic designer, I really would not recommend that you add too many distractions in forms of colors and images because it's really, it really comes over as an attention to wanting to distract the reader and that's absolutely what you don't want to achieve. So I would only stick to a solid template and avoid any other eye-catching elements. That was it for today, a short intro, and I wanna get back to you soon with the second part of this, where I wanna share with you what you absolutely have to be looking for when you are going to work on your CV. Bye.